All right, there we are. All right. So, last time we were together, we had a triangle with a hypotenuse of one. I gave you the unit circle, where your hypotenuse is always one. And if we had a 30 degree angle, then I could look on my unit circle and see my opposite side is one half and my adjacent side is square root of three over two. So then I would know my cosine is my adjacent side over my hypotenuse, which is the square root of three over two. And my sine was my opposite over my hypotenuse, which is one half over one, which is one half. If I wanted to find my tangent, it's the opposite over adjacent, which is one half over square root of three over two. But if I have a complex fraction, how could I figure that out? Multiply by the denominator of the denominator to get rid of the complex fraction. So I get 1 over the square root of 3. Can we leave square root of 3 on the bottom? No. So we have to multiply top and bottom by square root of 3. So you get square root of 3 over 3. We could find cosecant, secant, and cotangent as well. Okay, so that's what we did last time. Now, this is all the cosine of 30, the sine of 30, the tangent of 30, and so on. Okay, what if we have like, um, let's say 1 square root of 2 over 2 and square root of 2 over 2. How can I find my angle? Well, I could look on my unit circle to figure out where the sine equals the square root of 2 over 2, and the cosine equals the square root of 2 over 2. And looking at my unit circle, what, what place would that happen at? 45 degrees. Okay? Now, I could also have an instance where maybe my unit circle isn't 1, Maybe I have a 5 here, and a 3 here, and a 4 here, and what's my angle? Okay. Well, here you'd grab out your handy-dandy calculator, because I could use any trig function, because I know all three sides. If I use opposite over adjacent, what trig function is opposite over adjacent? So the tangent of some angle equals opposite over adjacent. To get my angle alone, I have to move my tangent to the other side. So my angle equals the inverse tangent of 3 over 4. So on your calculator, you'd push second tan 3 divided by 4 equals. And what do you get? Thirty six point eight seven degrees. <coughs> okay. So that's the basics of what we're going to be doing at the start here in our first lesson. Is we're going to be working with questions like that. So if you see anything in radical form, it's going to be on your unit circle. So, where is the cosine equal to square root of 3 over 2? How many degrees? That's the x. The x is cosine, the y is sine. Where is the x equal to square root of 3 over 2? 30 degrees and 330 degrees. The problem is, 
when you're looking for the answer, they only want 30 degrees, not 330. And you go, uh oh, what do I do? Well, what happens is this when you're looking for the cosine of an angle, okay, you only use from zero degrees to 180 degrees when you're looking for that from zero degrees to 180 degrees. When you're looking for the sine of an angle, you're gonna go from negative 90 degrees to 90 degrees. And when you're looking for the tangent of an angle, you're gonna do the same thing as sine, negative 90 degrees to 90 degrees. All right, so number two says, use a calculator to find an acute angle that satisfies this equation. So if the sine of an angle equals this, what we're going to do to find that angle, we're going to take the inverse sine of 0 0.7111. <coughs> and we're going to round their answer to the nearest tenth. And what do we get? What? 45.3, sounds good to me. Again, if it's tangent of one six and it says round to one decimal place, we use the inverse tangent, second tangent, and then one sixth. How do we find that? Or what is that answer? 9.5. Okay, now, if it asks for an exact value, whenever it asks for an exact value, you should use your unit circle, okay? Now, your calculator will give you an exact value too, okay? But for the most part, when you're asked for an exact value, you wanna use your unit circle. Now, where is the cosine one half? Somewhere in between zero and 180 degrees. Where is the cosine one half at? And it would be 60 degrees. Okay. Without using a calculator means use your unit circle. Where is the tangent zero at? Now, tangent is sine over cosine, so you have to use the y over the x of your unit circle. Where is y? on your unit circle over x going to equal zero. At how many degrees? Not at 90. At zero, yeah, at zero degrees. Because at 90 degrees, you're one over zero, which is undefined. So you're at zero degrees, okay? And where's the sine zero at? Well, that's at zero degrees and so on. So you have just 